Hi YouTube, this is Tara and welcome back to my channel. Good morning. <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. So I'm at work. I'm in a great room. It's Friday. Happy Friday. And I have this Ace Brutane Floral Vintage Palette that I got from Boxy Charm. Now, I bought this from the pop-up. They used to call it the pop-up shop or something like that. But now it's called the Mega, the Mega Drop Shop. Okay, and I may do a, um, a get ready with me this weekend. Uh, my mother will be out of town and I won't be disturbing her. Here's the plastic sleeve covering. It also has a mirror. Okay, got my phone propped up. Can y'all see that? Got my phone propped up on the essential bottles and here are the colors and I hope you can see the colors I hope the colors are coming off real good real nice and clear because it's overcast I'm sitting in front of two large windows and I'm not really getting any sunlight or natural light and there's no light over in the area right here where I sit but it's plenty of light over in that area where the other tables are. I just come and sit off over in the corner to myself. Um, Skin Club wipes, and these are real good. They're sturdy. Um, the other wipes that I've used that I really like are the crayon case. The crayon case has a sale, fifty percent off. And hey. Monday is a holiday. It's more people at work than I thought. So let's go ahead and get into it. Crayon Case has a sale 50% off the entire site for their fifth anniversary. And I bought, I think, one bag of wipes. Don't know why I only bought one bag because I got the blush binder for $27.50. I purchased one, two, about three or four lip lip colors. Um, I think Hillary and two other colors because Hillary is always sold out Hillary and Carlton always sold out when I get ready to purchase the lippies from the crayon case so I finally got Hillary I should have got two but I just got one and this is from the mask if y'all see see these two little bumps for wearing that mask child and so um what else I got from the crayon case? So it came up to like 50 something dollars. And so I was like, that's good. I have just about all of her palettes that she have on her sites now. I think I, I have all of them. Now the ones that she had before I start purchasing from her or heard from her, the crayon case, I don't have those. And I don't even use them like that. So 
I even got the little minis and don't use them. But I'm going to start. Okay, so we have... We have begonia, magnolia, uh, daffodil, cosmos, delia, del, delia, and sparky rose. I'm a little surprised at daffodil. I would think daffodil would have a little bit more yellow to it, but it doesn't. Then you have, these are all names of flowers. Calendula, Calendula, Pompous, Pompous Grass. Hmm. Um, Globe thistle, uh, antler orchid, and these are your neutral neutral colors. Moss rose and canna, C A N N A. Then we go down to orange pansy, cherry blossom. Buttercup, Golden Cupid, a uh, Golden Archer, Tropical Hibiscus, Tansy, and it looked like I might have swatched Tansy. I hope I did, and nobody else. Did somebody swatch my palette? Because why would I swatch? I think I've swatched. I hope it was me. Because I was like, why would I swatch this palette? And at least not. I normally swatch all the shimmers. Aster. Button Bush. Day Lilies. Musk Rose. Dandelion, Black Hacienda. Now, let's get into these shades that I normally would see and think they would be yellow, like Daffodil. That doesn't look yellow. Now, Buttercup. It has, and it feels good. It has fallout. Now I would think this would be dandelion, and this is dandelion. This more orange, you looking shade. Even orange pansy. It's more coral. It's more coral than orange. So. So I guess daffodil is real light. And so I still have pigment on my hand, on my fingers, and let's wipe them off. I should have got some napkins. So those are the ones that I was really curious about. So apparently I've swatched.
some colors before. So the next, so let's go into the shimmers. Okay, Marigold. Can Calendula. C-A-L-E-N-D-U-L-A. -E and then we got Canna. C-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. Okay. And that's more like a satin. And then we have Cherry Blossom, which is looks like a beautiful pink. Oof. Look at that. Okay. So let's see. Mm. Yeah, that marigold is kind of disappointing. Let's so I added some more there. You can kind of see it a little bit better now. And maybe it's the light. But everybody don't like if it look so let's see. Um. Let's get into these other shimmers. <sighs> Dry my fingers off. Yeah, that cherry blossom. It's a nice little pink. You know, it's a nice little pink. Okay. Uh, let's get into golden arch. Uh oh. Golden Archer. And Musk Rose. And these are like the last two of shimmers. Musk Rose. Golden Archer. Okay, so let's clean my fingers off and let's clean my arms off. My arm, just one of them. Okay. Now, I think, now that cherry blossom, that cherry blossom, it kind of surprised me because right here, this cherry blossom, it, it's a nice shimmery pink. I know you really can't see it in this light, but there it is. See, it's not a, it's not a dark chrome or anything like that. It's just a nice, soft, shimmery pink. Let me see what time it is. Okay. I got a little bit more time. So, let's go ahead and swatch some of the mattes. Begonia is a nice, peachy pink. Okay. Some may say it may be a little um, Cosmo, a little corally. That's a nice, muted lavender. Delilah, or uh, how do you say it? D A H D A L I A. That's a pretty leaf green. And spray rose is like what we would call like a beige or tan. So, and I still have some, y'all. I got some glitter. 
that's one thing I do not like. Is uh oh, it kind of got on him a little bit. Let's get some more. It's a lot of fallout from this palette, this Ace Brutane. Okay. It's a lot of kickback or fallout, as people would say. So, this is just to let you all get some type of idea, okay, of... Some type of idea of what these shades look like on our skin. Now, uh, someone who's very dark, or I'm a medium dark to dark, or medium deep to deep. Now, of course, my eyelids are a little darker than the rest of me. So, that's why I put my eyeshadow base on to kind of give myself an even canvas. So, pamp Pampas Grass, this nice brown. Um, Globe Thistle, which is a darker brown, and Antler Orchard, which is like a tan, and then Moss Rose, and see these are your browns, okay, so... I'm doing it like this so I can make sure that when I swatch it, it's still in the frame. Because sometimes I swatch and it be going all kinds of ways up and down my arm. Now, I'm glad I, I'm really happy that I went ahead and swatched this palette because let's try to clean her side now. If I see another palette, with these similar shades and colors, I probably won't buy it, but it depends on the brand because some brands, the payoff is different. Now, I already swatched orange, orange pansy. I already swatched buttercup. Okay, tropical hibiscus, tansy, tropical, and these may be pressed pigments. So instead of um, rubbing them, you might need to pat. Let me see. Okay. This is Aster. That's a beautiful purple. This is like a medium deep purple. And then you got Button Bush right next to it, which is more on the red burgundy side. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. Yeah, that red is very pretty. Okay. So my fingers are starting to stain a little bit. And um, I had asked, because I watch a lot of makeup or, um, content creators on Facebook. So I'm going to have to start coming down. Um, a lot of makeup content creators on Facebook. And they would say, what kind of look would y'all like to see today? And I would always say, I would say red and black, red and black. And nobody would do it. And then on um, Yetta, Y-E-T-T-A page on Facebook yesterday, or the day before yesterday, somebody actually did a red and black look. It was pretty. So Day Lilies, which I'm assuming is going to be like a deep burgundy. I think these are pressed pigments. Because in Dandelion... Because press pigments, I just learned from Torrance here on YouTube, you get a lot of kickback 
from press pigments. 24 colors named after flowers. Each color has been carefully milled and pressed to provide the easiest application and the most excellent color payoff. So they have been pressed. Okay, this is dandelion and this is black hyacin. Hyacin. Okay. Look at black, that is so pretty. Yeah, look at that burgundy. Okay, so you got your purple, you got your red, you have your burgundy. Okay, this is more of a burgundy shade. That's pretty. And then here you have mm -hmm. look at that black all oh, my stars and garters that black is yes. 